Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready for this live though? Hey, look, I gotta tell y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all everything. I'm letting y'all fall in. Look, where everybody watching from? Let's go to work. Let's go. Yeah, we back. Yeah, we back. Let's get it. Let's get it. With them, with them five emojis, let's get it. With them sixes and nines, people. For CG, my Niji. Let's get it. All right, so look. So look, so look, so look. It's been a minute, y'all. It's been a minute. It's not because it's me. It's not because it's me. Look, all right, so look. We're going to get straight to it. Y'all seen the video? I right, have y'all have y'all been paying attention? You know, it's 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 a lot of people that's trying to do what I do, but when you speak about the real things, it's a certain way that you have to speak about them on the internet, or they will find a way to you know get you up out of this joint. You feel me? So like uh, with the the animals and stuff like that, you know how they was crossbreeding them? And they had the monkey with the chicken body and shit, and they were holding that motherfucker. Look, that's what I got in trouble for. Check it out though, the video was still all over YouTube, but. They only came to me for it. You feel me? They only came to me for it because these videos be getting numbers and they see that, you know, they they don't want that to go too far. They knew it was real. They know it's weird. It shouldn't be out here. Well, stop doing shit and it won't get exposed. You feel me? That's all I'm saying. But look, how y'all been, though? I've been chilling. Look, I got other stuff that I do outside of YouTube, you know, uh, businesses to run, businesses that I'm starting. You know, it's just... It's a lot going on, so I took the time to step away, you know, where they put my ass on punishment, and, you know, I just been working. Just because y'all don't see me on here don't mean I'm doing nothing. But, yeah. Yeah, we're going to get this thing rocking. Y'all want to do a video tonight? I got something in the clip for y'all, too, you know. I definitely got something in the clip for y'all. If that's what y'all want to do. But I definitely got some more in-depth videos that I'm doing. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to do a live to. I bet, bet, bet. Hey, but look, look, look. It was mad people looking for me, though. Look, I, I rocked with y'all because y'all was looking for me. Y'all was DMing people that know me. and You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that, it's real. But hold on, hold on. Somebody told me I had to give them a shout out, though. She probably on here. So, look, I don't want to forget... <laughs> she was on it, man. But y'all gotta understand, it's a lot of people. I probably do. I probably put in another video, man. But look, put them fire emojis if y'all want to hop into this video. Have y'all been seeing the stuff happen about, uh, you know, about Maui and everything else? Are y'all up to speed to all, on all that stuff? I don't know if one of my substitutes, uh explain that to y'all in the videos and stuff like kind of link stuff together ain't none of my uh my understudies do that somebody said uh take that out your mouth nah it's my mouth not your mouth <laughs> i do what i want you do what you want with your mouth i do what i want with my mouth okay let's keep it there all right Hell wrong with you. Put you in time out. You don't start with me. I've spent uh, 10 years in Marine Corps, four years working with the Air Force as a civilian. After I got out of the Marine Corps, I uh, took a job with the Air Force at Wright Patterson. While I was at uh, Wright Patterson, of course, I was approached by an individual that uh, to determine if I wanted to work in a an area on just new creative things. Apparently that was a, the flying disc simulator. And they wanted us to get the experience before we actually uh, uh, started work on the flying disc simulator, which uh, I spent 30 some years working on. 
craft that they used to build, which is a 30 meter one, was the one that crashed in uh, uh, Arizona, Kingman, Arizona, uh, back in 53 or 52. But that particular craft, there were some problems with number one, getting it on the flatbed to take it up to Area 51. It had to be bars across the, you know, uh, the Colorado River at the time. There were four uh, aliens aboard that thing, and those aliens went to Los Alamos, and they put uh, certain people into there, in there with them, uh, people that, uh, you know, were astrophysicists, just general scientists, you know, to ask them questions. Uh, there was only one of them that would talk to any of these scientists that they put in the lab with them. The rest wouldn't talk to anybody, or you know even have a conversation with them. In the simulator, it was one, one big thing different. The thing that, like Lazar calls the reactor, okay, we didn't have a reactor. We had a, a space in a thing that looked like the reactor so you could get in there and actually work the controls and do what you had to or get the simulator to this operator. It would lift off the ball that it actually lifted up. The actual craft, no seat belts. You don't need seat belts. Because when you fly one of these things upside down, there's no upside down like in a regular aircraft. You just don't feel like you have your own gravitational field right inside. So if you're flying upside down, to you, you're right side up. There weren't any windows. The only place we had any visibility at all, and it was done with, uh, <clears throat> with cameras or video type things, was in the turret, in the turret section. You have to be frame train with your mind, you know, to, to accept what you're going to actually feel. And, and hey, well, somebody said Oprah asks poor people for donations. Hey, that's funny as hell. Now, real talk, though. Y'all see how she buying up all the land out there, though? It's crazy that I couldn't be on here to talk to y'all during all that craziness that was happening. You know, but uh, look, it, it's crazy, though, how they buying up all of that land. And then did y'all see the videos where they couldn't get out of... I know we talking about the Maui situation, but I ain't talked to y'all in a minute. So I'm going to be kind of everywhere because, nigga, it's crazy. But uh, you see how they was blocking people off from leaving Maui? Like, people was trying to leave the fire, but they was trying to keep them in the fire. And then on top of that, they're saying, like, oh, it's this many people missing. When in actuality, there's hundreds of people, maybe thousands. That's unaccounted for. But all they can care about is buying these people land, man. And then certain land got burnt and rich people land didn't get burnt. Damn, it's just such a coincidence, right? So there's some perceptual. Let's get the dude. Hey, somebody said Starlink. Look, that ain't Starlink. We see that joint all the time. We see Starlink all the time. Hold on. I got to change my camera setting on this joint. But yeah, we see Starlink all the time, man. That ain't, that ain't, that ain't, that ain't Starlink. I wasn't even going to do a video today. I was just going to come on here and talk to y'all. Hold on. Let me fix the camera settings real quick.
They ain't clone me either, man. They can't clone this right here, bro. Like, you ain't gonna be able to come back with the same energy. Look, you know what a lot of people was telling me, yo? Like, yo, Dre, you ain't been on here in a minute, bro. Look, yo, I got celebrities, bro. I'm talking about some, some. I got celebrities. Like, hey, listen, they hit me up, texting me like, yo, these, yo, you need to come back. Everybody's doing your videos, man. Like, <laughs> you feel me? And they, and they's like, it's not the same. So, you know. I, I, I had to come back, bro. But look, bro, they can't clone this, bro. The clone ain't going to be able to do this. They ain't going to be able to duplicate this. Oh, clone be on here weird as hell. That don't look like fucking birds, bro. Why are you? Why are you doing that? It's, it's not. It's not gonna focus because it's zoomed in so far. And what they say, they appear around war areas and stuff like that all the time. Who is somebody that's been around that stuff? Right here. Look, they do. <laughs> they be out there making sure mainly no nu nuclear weapons get used, for sure. That's why I don't like, like when they talk about us going to war and stuff like that. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know if that's going to be possible with the technology that's out there. If it does, then that shit was definitely planned and they let it happen. <laughs> Y'all see these disclosures and stuff? Like, look, the government, I could talk on this one because it's, not, it's no music or nothing, but the disclosures have been coming out gradually. We've been speaking about this stuff for years, right? So the disclosure did come out, so therefore verifying that we ain't crazy, right? So when we look at these videos, we're not. We're vindicated. But on top of that, though, you got to understand why they're doing this because things are inevitable. But I think they should speed As up the of right now. I think they should speed up the process, man, because this shouldn't be a hit from people in the first place because it ain't that deep. You feel me? Us knowing about extraterrestrials and stuff. More and more information is being released about the mysterious entities that were sighted in Peru. Oddly enough, since the topic has been trending, locals have been posting photographs of the alleged creatures, with some describing them as giving off bright lights, while others have said that they have big heads with large eyes. This photograph was just posted online by a local called Alfredo. He details that he lives in Iquitos and that during the night something was emitting a bright light in his garden. Thinking that it was someone right, with it. a flashlight, he decided to investigate. As he made his way outside, he could hear movement, and because of this, he was hesitant to approach. However, as he did, he encountered what he described was a humanoid-like figure that was emitting a bright light. It was so bright that it lit up his entire garden, and he even detailed that it hurt his eyes to look directly at it. He grabbed his phone and took several photographs, but due to how bright the light was, this entity only showed up in two of them. The whole encounter lasted no more than 20 seconds, and after the photographs were taken, Alfredo said that the light vanished from the being. I think it said Dre 2.0, hey, look, they clone me, look, whatever. <laughs> and it left the area. He switched on the light on his phone, but could no longer see the entity. After this, he quickly made his way inside. Interestingly, he said that this isn't the first time that these entities have been witnessed, and detailed that locals have allegedly been encountering them now for several months. Black helicopters have also been observed in the area. Those who investigate the unknown have said that black helicopters have been a recurring and perplexing element 
that often accompanies reports of unidentified objects. These ominous aircraft, painted in dark hues Absolutely and often lacking not. visible markings, Appreciate have sparked you. intrigue and speculation among enthusiasts. The term black helicopters gained prominence during the 1970s and 1980s. These helicopters are characterized by their dark color, often devoid of standard aviation markings or insignia. Reports frequently describe them as flying low and maneuvering with an air of precision that hints at sophisticated technology. Some speculate that the helicopters are part of government agencies. <laughs> hey, y'all gonna start trying me. We ain't even gonna be able to make it through this live tonight, bro. I keep laughing every time I see that. Look. <laughs> hey, y'all done got your own damn conspiracies about me and shit. Like, oh, I'm clone now. I'm the clone meat. Okay. Okay. Hey, I, right, I, right, I, right. ask me something and ask me something and I, I only the real Dre will understand. You feel me? Because we've been rocking together for a while now, y'all. Go ahead. I could save this damn video. <laughs> Yo, I'm so happy to damn be back though. Y'all funny. Y'all funny as hell. For sure I'm clone. <laughs> hey, nah, 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 nah. Y'all ain't gonna be doing me like that. Hold on, we're gonna have to do a poll, man. Hell nah. I got a slight little headache too. There we go. Set that there for a little bit, and there you go. His efforts to monitor activity and investigate sightings. The associate orbiting the binary sun Zeta Reticuli one and two about thirty nine light years from Earth. I've heard this from several people in intel and military. This pastel drawing was done by a Colorado male abductee who was lifted by his, with his wife up in a car and they were plunked down in a forest. The strange craft with erector set kind of legs and in separate hypnosis sessions, the husband and the wife both were alarmed about one shared memory. Each remembered warnings from the alien beings about a catastrophe event in the couple's lifetime that would destroy much of the Earth's population, and they are now today in their 60s. But the husband said he understood that some humans would be removed to safety and then be returned later to Earth to start human life over, and that those returned people would retain the knowledge about the technology and the self-destructive culture of now prior to the cataclysm. Yeah, I know what they've been talking about. What's been, what's, what's, what they say is to come. What's been in all the books. Okay, let me look at this. Let me look at this. What y'all talking about? Boy, I'm a little rusty, ain't I? I don't know where nothing at on my screen. Oh, there we go. That's on the yeah, yeah, clone. Oh yeah, oh yeah. My hey, look. See, y'all know what it is. Stop playing with me. I ain't no clone. My people know. My people know me.
back. I appreciate you, Sonny. Sonya. Trina, appreciate you. Miss you too. Setting as usual. But over here, we got another sun. Like right here. But what we can also see. Appreciate you, Q. It's a beam of light. Like, you can see that. So that beam, weird, that goes as an arch and hits that here so how is that possible can someone explain to me like those two suns like that one here and that one here thank you You, you you peep what he said? Although it looks like it's rain out here, but it's really not. They're doing military exercises. What could those military... They have to tell you, bro, in so many words, but so many some people need it to be like in words where, hey, look, we're fucking with the weather, and we're going we gonna, to we gonna clap y'all up with this weather shit. Y'all think, you know, we, since we can't turn guns on our own people, we'll we turn the weather on you, though, because it's natural, you know? We send the F5 tornado over here and hit these uh, trailer parks real quick. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. That's look, man. More footage of the map of the world on the moon. So you wanted more footage of the map of the world on the surface of the moon, huh? Well, you're going to get just that. But first, let me give a disclaimer so this video doesn't get taken down. This video was made strictly for entertainment purposes only. Nothing in this video should be considered factual. We simply point out patterns and things that we notice. Matter of fact, let's just go ahead and say the whole damn video is scripted. All right, now let's get into it. So we got a comment asking for more footage. Can y'all see the sunset? That shit look crazy back there, right? Just want y'all to see that. It's pretty cool. Footage of the moon. So here is some more. We didn't see two suns today, but it's all good. Footage of the moon surface morphing into the world map, so you can get a better idea of what I'm talking about. And at the end, we're gonna go over the map and the continents and kind of break down it. So hopefully, you can get a better picture of what I'm saying. Hopefully, this video helps. All right, I'm gonna stop talking for now and let you just enjoy the footage. But please make sure to let me know what you think in the comments. I know what you're talking about. You said painting the roof blue. Look, I be paying attention just because I wasn't on here. I've been watching. I'm a watcher. That's what I do, man. I'm a watcher and a guide. But yeah, I ain't painting nothing blue yet. But I might. How about you? Y'all picking up on that? Hmm, wonder what that can be on them. 
Is it reflecting from the moon? Finally, a real reflection of what our Earth actually looks like. We have both the known world and the extra land that has been unexplored by us, as well as ancient civilizations, which I noted in my previous video. A huge shout out to Sturgios, since he is the only reason we even have this map. Sturgios put a lot of work into this map. He even went down to the smallest minute detail. He has mapped out time zones, seasons, flight paths, and distances. The first true representation of our world in a map, and it is of the utmost importance, primarily due to the unknown landmasses over here. Sturgios named them Terra Vista after a landmass of the same name. But why have we never heard of this island? At least I haven't, have you? Anyways, Sturgio's presentation of our known world here marks the five prominent circles of latitude. We can see the Arctic Circle, the tropics, the equator, and the Antarctic Circle. And Sturgio's has mapped the sun's concentric journey around these circles of latitude, mapping seasons and time zones with the utmost precision and accuracy. It's crazy. Another huge shout out to Sturgio's because he definitely deserves it. So now that I've broken it down a little bit more and given you some additional longer footage to look at, is it getting easier for you to see the world map reflected onto the moon surface? Or maybe some of you still think I'm crazy. But hey, opinions are like buttholes. Everybody's gotta have one, right? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. And as always, make sure you like, follow, and share for more videos just like this. Hey, it's very interesting. You can't, like, everything is just not such a coincidence. Are we on? Are, is she on to something? Is she on to something? I don't know. Yeah, let me know now in the comments. This. this is a slice of fish. This is supposed to be whitey. It's got skin on everything. Look at it. Right? The insides of it is like a diaper material. Look at that. You know, like a wet diaper? Right? Now, watch this. Now, where do you know a fish? You can squeeze it like a sponge, like this. Where on the planet you know you can squeeze a fish like that? Now look, put it back in the water. Look at that. And it's whole again. It's a fish. See? Get another slice. Now in my time growing up, I never seen a whitey fish this fucking big. Well, I know it, it probably <laughs> got them, but I ain't never seen them like this. Damn. You know, I seen them. This was the biggest I remember seeing them like this right here. And look, it's all the same. You squeeze it like a like a sponge. Look, it ain't breaking up or nothing. And you put it in the water. And it's a whole fish again. Is that a piece of wheat, nigga, and they're swimming? We can't have nothing, can we? But we can't have nothing. Like, bruh. Like. We all got to become breftarians, y'all. Start going around getting our different start savoring your different tastes of uh atmospheres because that's what it's coming to me we ain't gonna be able to eat nothing sunlight that's it i'm not eating no more oatmeal none of that that's just swimming it's swimming
appreciate the money I get. Appreciate you. I'm back for sure. For sure. I physically held a key that opened every I'm trying to stay on my best behavior so they don't put me away again, y'all. Single door in the facility. I had complete access to every compartment they manufactured. What are you blowing the whistle on? That there are technologies at the South Pole Station that people can't even consider that exist on this planet. Directed energy weapon systems is something that people need to get in their vocabulary fast. The Ice Cube Neutrino Detector is not simply a passive listening device as presented for the science that they're claiming it to do. It also has the capacity to transmit. There are embedded in the ice what are called digital optical modules, DOMs. They're about the size of a basketball. The array embedded in the ice is one kilometer by one kilometer by one kilometer. It is the world's largest telescope. And now because we have proven that it can transmit, it's the world's largest directed energy weapon system. It is responsible for the earthquakes in Christchurch, New Zealand. These are all the wildfires in the last two days, five so far. Just listen. It's happening everywhere. Everywhere. Fine, I appreciate you. Welcome. Over here, a hey, fast bro. Hey, you wanna know what's crazy though? It's still some people that think, like, oh, you know, we speak about the government, you know, different agencies having this type of technology. And it, 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 it's alarming the, what shall I say, you know, the, the stupidity of people. See, you get trapped into being afraid of things that you don't want to be true. And like I keep saying, just because you don't want it to be true don't mean that it's, it has, it's no truth to this. They already came out and said that they got energy weapons. And then, even, and then on the newest uh, jets that we have... They got, they got, they got, they got laser technology on them. They don't even carry missiles no more. Like, come on, bro. We got to stay ahead. Like, <laughs> you know, you don't think they have this? Like, some people don't. You, they can see a beam come down, and they can see it torch a city, and they still won't think that. Oh, it's it's not us. I mean, guess we call those NPCs, right? Put those, put the, put, put, hey, look, let me know, hey, if you're not an NPC in this chat, man, we got, what, 4,200 people in here, man? Put the, put the flame emojis if you're not an NPC, man. Let me see who not an NPC, bro. Like, I know who been in here, too, because I'll be looking at your names. Just because I don't speak to everybody don't mean that I don't, I don't see y'all. So go ahead. Y'all try to say that I'm, I'm some clone meat. Let's see if y'all got them NPCs. 
Put them flame emojis. Let's get it. Smash that like button. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, flame emojis. Yes, sir. But none of them were moving. And I walked all the way from Safeway to the chart house. Not one car had moved. And I was wondering what was stopping the traffic. Well, it was a policeman. And I got to the end and I looked up north. There were no obstructions. There was no reason to keep those cars there. Are you serious? I'm serious as a heart attack. And I, I said, what are you doing? He goes, well, I'm under orders to keep them here. And I said, the fire is, is right around the Safeway. It's going to hit front. Somebody put a water emoji. Yeah, I knew it was an NPC in here somewhere. Look at this loony. <laughs> Street. You know, these people got to get out of here. And he said, I'm following orders. No way. And I, so I just kept walking. I'm, well, maybe he knows something I don't, you know. So, And I keep walking down the highway. <laughs> and I look behind. No cars are coming out. I walked all the way to Waikuli Beach. Still no cars coming out. And I started hearing boom, boom, boom. And then I heard people screaming and stuff. You're saying they were blockaded in by the police at the end of Front Street? Yeah. Like where that restaurant is? Right, where the chart house Where the chart house was, I should right. say. They, there was a blockade there, and they could not go any further. Right. I walked, what I, the hell? I walked all the way from Safeway to there. Not one car had moved. And people walking in front of me, the people in the cars are saying, would you like a ride? And they're going, oh, OK. And they'd get in. They asked me, I go, no, you better get out of here. You know, it, and, uh, but they just, well, we were told to evacuate by car. I, 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 okay, so I just kept walking, and I got all the way to, uh, like I said, the Civic Center, and then I started hearing all the explosions, and there was no one walking behind me or on bicycles or anything. Anyway. Now we police. New global internet censorship began today. This was August the 7th. Google's new global censorship tool was introduced today at 9.10 a.m. via an email press release. Instead of global internet censorship, Google calls it fact check tools. Its purpose is to eliminate dissent on any topic Google selects. Their partners are the United Nations and the World Health Organization. Plus 71 pages of other partners are listed in the fine print on this website. Google's algorithms are designed to delete websites that criticize topics such as COVID-19 statistics, the World Bank, the FBI's crime statistics, Farm GKB, a one world global government. <laughs> other topics include global warming statistics provided by the IPCC and many others. The algorithms are Google's last ditch attempt to control the internet before people worldwide can no longer access it. The goal is to have one point of view. Google calls it data commons. All data supports one global government under the United Nations banner. Google has the only say on what news gets read or blocked from the internet. And this helps with the new social credit score system that is coming. Hey, look, man. It's, it, 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 it's wild out here, man, that we got to navigate like this, man. Because it's a lot of deception out here. And look, real talk, though. We have every right to question everything, man, because everything that we learn, most of the stuff we learn when we were in school, we were indoctrinated, and we knew it was not the truth, man. So we have to question everything. Like, for instance, you see the water that I'm drinking? I'm going to let y'all, I'm, I'm, look, I'm my vlog channel is going up. I've been working, bro. I've been really working, and y'all going to see. But look, if y'all ain't subscribed to the vlog channel, y'all going to miss those videos as soon as they drop. It's going to be lit and very informational. But look, if you're not distilling your water right now, you're, you're losing, people. Y'all want me to drop a short? I'm going to drop a short tomorrow and show y'all what's in y'all water. Distill your water just because you have a glass of water, right, that you get from the sink, whatever, right? Even if you take a bath in it. We already explained and, and, and broke it down how, how many chemicals and medicines and everything that's in the water. But they say it's at a certain, uh, at, a, at, a, at a good amount where you're not going to be affected. That's why everybody around here can't regulate their emotions and none of that shit. It's because you want everybody's medication. You think you're crazy? Yeah, you are because it's in the water. It's in you're absorbing it through your skin. Bro, when you separate that water, when you distill your own water, bro, the water is brown at the bottom and it has floaties in it. 
You know the little booty floaties that, that when you go wipe your part, you know, the little crusties? It looked like that in the water. No lie. And I'm going to show y'all. And it's brown. That's what you're drinking and you're bathing in. <laughs> it's gross. Don't just filter it. Make sure you distill that joint. Distill it. Separate this. The, 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 separate this, the, the chemicals, man. And you and you'll feel a lot better. You said I had tea last time. Oh, you asked me what I had in my drink. I said kombucha, but I usually have kombucha or uh, tea. I got. I still got tea in there, man. Look, I'm not clone, bro. <laughs> But though, no, 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 real talk. I'm going to show y'all, bro. And I'm going to drop a link for y'all as well. Y'all don't have to get the product that I'm going to link because that's not my goal is to get a whole bunch of money from y'all. I, I, my life path is a lot different. You know, I like to help people. That's what I do on my off time. That's what I do on my time. It's fulfillment. But uh, I'm going to drop a link for y'all for a distiller. Just You can go get one. Just I say just get any one at this point, nigga. Like, it's bad. Get Get filters on your shower, man. Drink your chlorophyll. Real talk. And we're going to be back tomorrow, though. I got a... We're going to be definitely back tomorrow. I got I got some crazy videos for y'all coming up. This was just an introduction back. Nothing too crazy. But we really going to get in depth. And we really going to... Uh, we really going to see what's cracking out here, man. Hopefully, y'all been protecting yourselves and y'all families. Also, yeah, my vlog channel will be in the description down below. So y'all go ahead, hit that up. I already got some videos prepared. It's going up. You know what I'm saying? But look, I love y'all. I'll see y'all on the next one. I got a headache. I'm about to go chill, lay down. Well, I, I still got to work out. I ain't going to hold you. So, And make sure, look, man, if y'all got... I can't say too much. Look, people are actually watching me. Make sure y'all protecting yourself, y'all family. Make sure y'all got the pum pums on y'all. All right. Got some crazy people out here in the world, man. But uh, look, I see you on the next video. Love y'all. I'm out. I'm not cloned. I'll be back tomorrow. Make sure I got them notifications on.